Good morning, modern steaders. You're a little dirty. Hold on. There, I think that's better. This morning we're gonna be working on our off-grid outdoor kitchen composting toilet slash outhouse. I feel like I've been cheating on you guys. Last week I put in a bunch of gravel. I put in my base. I'll add pictures in the video here of how we did it. And then I put my decking on. So I got some six by six posts, three of them under there. I'll show you in the pictures, you'll get it. And then we got a nice little deck to build our structure on. I'm just gonna do a slant roof. It's gonna be eight feet back here, and six and a half feet here. A nice slanted roof, a door. We got a sink we're gonna be putting in there too, and some windows. This is gonna be a fun little project. Let's get to it. I wanted to show you just within the last day, Look at all the leaves that are falling. It turned like this into fall. We're, we're back to summer temperatures, but we got the fall leaves falling. One of my goals with this project is, is to use up a lot of the scrap slash leftover lumber from building the outdoor kitchen. I don't want to have to buy too much. So, so far we bought six two by fours and the sheathing for the roof. Let me show you what we have. We have leftover rough two by sixes. I want to use those for the roof. I have a four two by fours by 16 foot long. That'll be part of the wall. And then we have some more scrap wood kicking around over here that we used for our concrete slab. So we're going to cut that stuff up and get that stuff used up. And we have some windows for daylights. together so we can set it in place. Nice. Believe it or not, this 2x6 is left over when we had some staging rigged up back in 2015 when we built our house. So it's been sitting around getting pretty weathered. It's time to use it and put it to use. Forgot we need to cut our jack studs for the window opening. Get this in place and we can stand this wall up.
right, now we need to figure out the height of the map wall. That's the pigs eating apples you're listening to right now. line we're figuring out my walls what I should do first is figure out my angle do this put one of our two by fours in place rest our level on the top and put it on our mark Trace the bottom of my level and that'll give me my angle. Now I take my 2x4, lay it down the way it's traced. You can see the pencil mark here. I need to move my saw until it lines up. And what I like to do is the first cut that I think is close to it. I'll cut above it and then I can try. See if I would have cut on my line, I would have been messed up. So now I know I need to come back a little bit. Maybe about a degree or half a degree. <laughs> All right, let's go to 22 degrees. Now I'm happy with that. Now I can finish up my cut. The pig got the fence. They haven't learned yet. Now I know my angle is 22 degrees and I'll keep that number in my head. Next time I need to make some angled cuts, I already know it. My angle's going the right direction. Then I can put my level on it and level off the rest. So this next one I want to come down and have my top plate on like this. I'm just going to trace this mark. I'm going to make a measurement. We calculated and figured everything out correctly. This should be perfect. I like it. Right up to our line. What are you doing? Goofed up. I was thinking when I was cutting, I was still thinking that side. This side needs to be 73 and 3 8 the short end, and the angle needs to be going this way. We're gonna take this all apart now. <laughs> all right. Now that we had to cut a new one, let's get it felt. Make sure it's going the right way. It is. I guess that's how you know we're building this real time. You get to watch our goof ups. This time, it looks right. Make sure this wall's level. Let's see, if we measured this all correctly, it should 
fit. Perfect. I like that. Now I can nail the top plate. Alright, let's work on our back wall. Let's level off our wall. Let's make sure we put this one on the right way this time. It's not fun how to take stuff off, whether you have the right tools for it or not. We need to figure out our window openings. Let's see, we need to. We go on this side where they're going. And we know on this side where they're going. This is the board I messed up on, so I was able to reuse it. a good height for a window in an outhouse. It's not low enough so anybody can see what you're doing. But we're gonna have plenty of light. we're gonna have plenty of light in here. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. I just don't want anybody else to see what I'm doing. If that makes sense. Now we're going to cut our roof rafters out of some leftover 2x6s we had. We've got to put the angle on these also. So we're going to be cutting from long point to short point. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is going to be the best way for me to build the roof. I'm going to build it on the ground and then bring it up. I think it's going to weigh way too much for me to do that. So i got to find a way to do it while I'm up here working with limited space. Slide it into place. Nice. I like it. I guess I should explain the height and why I chose the height. Right here, I don't know if you can see it through the crack, is the main support header that runs this way so there's a two by sixes on the back side of this so by nailing into that I have really good strength I'm not just going into pine boards for our rafters I just put in two filler boards. I wanted to make sure no bees or hornets will be able to get in there and make a nest. That would not be good. All right, we need to get our profit trim board put in place. This might be a little interesting. where it needs to be positioned. I'm just going to keep the height good on the top. Get 
this one in place should fit just like so. Now, if you're asking why such a wide overhang here in the front, we had to fill out back here with gravel. So I wanna keep the water away from that bank that I made so it doesn't get washed out. Do you approve? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. But where is the toilet? We haven't got that far yet. It comes in parts. Doesn't happen like that. We gotta build everything. It takes time. No, nope, you gotta build everything and everything takes time, Libby. All right, hey, let's get this part in. All right, we'll make one more level mark for the window. And then we can cut our last board for the day. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be our best way to go. 38 and 5 eighths. Alright, we'll get one more cut. Alright, last cut for the day. Get this board up and that's going to be a day. Pretty good day, I think. That's a wrap for today. In the next episode, we're going to be strapping this roof and putting our plastic see-through sheathing up there. So that way, we'll have daylight in our composting outhouse. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It really helps the channel grow. We want to thank you for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.